you to God. Hallelujah. So we just want to acknowledge God, right? We always want to give God the first and the foremost. We always want to lift God up and we want to recognize God for being sovereign, God for being holy, God for being our creator, because we are his created. So first and foremost in all things, young people, we always want to acknowledge God. When we walk up to our food, we want to say, thank you, God. When we walk into our home, thank you, God. When we wake up in the morning, thank you, God. Amen. And then we want to acknowledge the great servant leaders of this wonderful church. Where you are, you're under shepherd who continuously pours into you so that you will know God, how he reads from the word of God. He pours into your spirit so you can stand fast against days like this. We thank you right now for your minister, Sharon Joseph, who has brought you this far by grace. We thank you right now for everything that was said, every song that was sang, every officer and every member. I say praise the Lord for you, St. John's, for you are wonderful in the eyesight of God. Amen. I see some wonderful people on the line. I see Sister Wombo. I see Robin Flood, Geraldine Hudson. Hallelujah. Karen Ward, Cynthia. I see you for the Lord knows you right well. Amen. Our scripture lesson for today is going to come from Psalm number 34. Is that okay? The Lord has laid it on my heart to just read a few verses coming from Psalm 34. And the word of God reads like this. It is the psalm written by David when he was going through some things, you know, when he was running to and fro because he had enemies on his back. He had trouble on his left, on his right, on his front and his back. He was running and running. But we know that even in the midst of all the things and the challenges that he was going through, he wrote a word. Can you hear me, family? All right. If you can hear me, he says, I will bless the Lord at all times. Uh huh. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul makes its boast in the Lord. Let the humble hear and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. And let us, yes, let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. Look to him and be radiant so that your faces shall never be ashamed. For this poor soul cried and was heard by the Lord, and was saved from every trouble. Amen. Amen. We'll end our reading right there. Amen. We have Amen. The word of God is already blessed. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Father God, in the matchless name of Jesus, Lord God, I come before you saying thank you, Lord God. For this wonderful opportunity, Lord God, to pontificate the gospel before your praying people, Lord God. We know right well that the Holy Spirit is already here, Lord. But I'm asking you now, God, to move me out of the way, Lord God. And you stand up and deliver a word to your children, Lord. So that then your people, Father, young, old, strong, weak. Any, all of us, Lord God, no matter what our situation or condition, pour out a word, Lord God, so that we collectively, us, can run on, Lord God, with more run on power until you say stop, Lord God. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. Amen, Lord God. So I'm just going to work with you for just a few moments, if you don't mind, and I'm going to talk about your ability to um to bless the lord at all times right and i want to talk about your narrative you have the power to rewrite your narrative it's your narrative it's your story but when you do it with the lord you have power there's glory when you run with the lord amen that's when you're running with the lord you're able to say that i will bless the lord at all times and all means all all doesn't mean sometimes. All doesn't mean every now and then. All doesn't mean when I feel like it or don't feel like it. All means all times. 
up or down, in the valley or on the mountain, in trouble or happy or sad or glad, in the midst of grief, and I will bless the Lord at all times. Mm. Even when the enemy tries to encamp around you and chase you down like a dog and you're starting to feel crazy and mad, I want you to know that even in moments like that, you should and can bless the Lord. Yeah. And that will help you rewrite your narrative. Mm -hmm. It's not about what people say, say about you. It's not what people call you. It's what you answer to. Come on and help me somebody. Yes. We're talking about David who was not the most perfect of perfects. We're talking about a man named David who had some kind of he had women issues. Yes, he did. We're talking about a man named David who sent the loyal man onto the battlefield and died. We're talking about David who found himself sometimes in the wrong place at the wrong time. We're talking about David who the Lord called him a, a king before he even understood who he really was. He was of the wrong I want you to know that God has a call on your life, young people, and you might feel like your life is filled with sadness. I had a little girl tell me this morning, you know, my life is filled with sadness, but I want you to know that this is just the beginning of your life and you can rewrite your narrative. When you are trusting in the Lord, when you know the Lord for yourself, the Lord will fill your life with gladness. You'll have a joy that the world didn't give given a joy that the world cannot take away. David said in this pericope, I will bless the Lord at all times and his praise shall continually be in my mouth. I had a little nephew of mine one day tell me, this is why you're lonely. And that's what the devil will do sometimes, creep up and tell you you're lonely, creep up and try and tell you some things. But I want you to know, Sister Flood, that you are not alone, never alone, because the Lord God promised never to leave you nor forsake you. I'm here to tell you that no matter how the world tries to write your narrative, you got a narrative that you can find in the Holy Bible. And right. the Bible, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. So help me, God. The Bible is the believer's instructions before leaving earth. There is power in the word of God. We already know that there is so much power in the word of God that when you call it like it is, when you speak a word over yourself, that you will be encouraged and not discouraged. You got to learn how to bless the Lord at all times and Make a boast in the Lord. Making a boast in the Lord says, I am happy for the Lord. And I don't make in the shout, body. I just have such a joy and a zeal for the Lord that I can't keep it to myself. When you love the Lord so much, you're willing to give, give, give unto the Lord. And it won't be like you're giving up your last. I want you to know that when you give to the Lord, the Lord will give back to you tenfold. Hallelujah. I know a God that if you just give of yourself, God will give back to you. I'm telling you, just think about the things that you desire because you are of the righteous, because you are of a royal generation, a royal priesthood. When you just think about your desires, that God loves you so much that he will provide your every need. It says that the prayers of the righteous young men, they avail as much. But you got to learn how to talk to the Lord so that the Lord shall hear you. He says, I cried out to the Lord and he heard me. Uh, Who are you crying uh, out to? We find yeah. ourselves sometimes crying out to mommy and sometimes mommy can't do it. Uh, you call it uh, to daddy uh, and sometimes uh, daddy can't do it. Uh, you call it to your uh, friend and sometimes your friends can't do it. Uh, you run into the Crips, the Bloods, the Latin Kings and all these other little, little gangs and they can't do uh, it. Nobody do it like Jesus. I want you to know that nobody's going to love you like the Lord. Hallelujah. So David, here he is saying, no matter what comes, no matter what goes, I will bless the Lord at all times. And it says, let the humble hear and be glad. Humble people, humble young people, humble young people. When you're humble, that does not mean you're weak. Humble does not mean broken. Humble does not mean squashed. Humble does not mean you're a punk. Humble does not mean you're fear and trepidation. 
Humble says you got your power under control. Humble says that I'm humble and I'm being humble because if I want to, I can call on the name of Jesus and make every knee bow. Humble says that when I call on the name of Jesus, every tongue shall confess. Humble says that when you call on the name of Jesus, all things are possible because you believe. Help me somebody, help me somebody, help me somebody. He said, I made a cry unto the Lord yeah. and he heard me. Oh Sometimes we find ourselves crying for things, crying for friendships, mm -hmm. crying for, for relationships, mm -hmm. crying to be accepted, mm -hmm. crying to be loved. Mm -hmm. But can't nobody love you like Jesus. And I know it might sound like a broken record. It might sound like here they go again. But I want you to know that this is a narrative that never changes. You can change your narrative, but the word of God never changes. And I'm telling you that you don't have to be subject to any negativity in the world or anything that's going to make you downtrodden, rewrite your narrative. Say, Lord, today I give my life unto you. I heard them talking about tithes all over the place today. Because, and that's just a matter of giving. When you give unto the Lord, the Lord will give back to you if you try. And you got to do it without fear. You can't do it wondering how you're going to make it. You got to do it trusting that you'll make it. Come on now, somebody. Trust the Lord with all your heart. Trust the Lord with all your soul. Trust the Lord. You will find yourself sitting in places and you will say, how did I even get here? You will find yourself in seats of high places and you will be trying to figure out how you made it over. Because the favor of God is with you. The Lord of God wants them. The Lord God wants to bless you. And the Lord God wants to bless you indeed. But there is something that the Lord requires. It's an ABC prayer. He wants to be acknowledged. The Lord God wants you to know that, wants to know that you know who God is. Acknowledge God. Believe in God. Confess your sins to God. Admit that you made some mistakes along the way. It's all right. We, we all fall short of the glory. But the, the healing comes when you can acknowledge it. The betterment comes when you can speak a word over it. The betterment comes when you confess it. So now we have made some mistakes like David did. But David was still a man after God's heart. And it didn't matter that he had made mistakes. God still sat him in high places. And the Lord God wants to use you young queens and kings the same way he did David. You can break down every giant in your life if you trust the Lord. We are living in a time of COVID. We're living in a time of post-pandemic. We're living in a time of open racism. It ain't the same kind of racism my grandparents dealt with, but it is racism and we still have to deal with it. But I'm telling you, you can deal with it and you can make it if you trust the Lord. I want you to know that when you seek the Lord, he will deliver you. And all you have to do is stand flat-footed and be not ashamed. Trust the Lord. Jesus says you can trust me. He loved you so much he gave him his life for you. And I'm daring you today to taste this see that the Lord is good. And that if you would just honor the word of God and do what the word of God says do, you will find the next, it, 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 it'll, you will be able to testify, not just the lie testify about the goodness of the Lord. Amen. I'm going to I'm going to let up right now. I just want you to know Jesus loves you. Jesus came, he lived for you. He walked the earth. Jesus came, yes he did. And he died for you.
Jesus came, yes, he did. And when he came, he fed the hungry. Yes, he did. He clothed the naked. Yes, he did. And he made some promises. Yes, he did. He said, the work I do shall be good. Yes, he did. But the work that you do shall be greater. If you trust the Lord today, I want you to just say, yeah. Trust the Lord today. Yes. 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 I yes. Trust the Lord today. I want you to know that you will bless him at all times. Even when you just got two little pennies to rub together. Trust the Lord. Yes. And he'll make a, a gold mine out of a little mite. Yes, he will. Trust the Lord. Jesus came. He lived. <laughs> he walked. He fed. He clothed. He hung. He bled. And he died for us. But the glorious thing is, he rose early one Sunday morning. And when he rose, he rose with all power in his hands so that we might have the right to the tree of life. I know I'm preaching long, but I know it's strong. If you trust the Lord, Amen. you can rewrite your narrative. Amen. Whatever is broken, take it to the Lord and say, God, today I humbly come before you, Lord. And there's some brokenness going on right now. And I need you, Lord God, to fix it. Wherever you feel sick, oh, Lord, I'm feeling sick in my body, Lord. Yeah. And God, you know where the ailment is. Please heal it. God, please come into my life, Lord. Make my jagged edges smooth. Touch my children. Touch my home. Touch my finances. Yeah. Touch now. In the name of Jesus. And I want you to know that you shall have a power you will be able to look at the scorpions and walk on them. Your enemy, you'll be able to shake them. Step on. Keep it moving with Jesus. Rewrite your narrative, children. Mm -hmm. Don't let nobody tell you what you're not. Mm -hmm. Speak a word over yourself and let people know I am of a royal generation, a royal priesthood. Yes, I am. I belong to Jesus. I'm never alone. These things, Lord God, I've done. I pray, Lord God, that the word that you asked me to speak today came forth like pure gold, Lord. That one heart shall be transformed, Lord. That they will be able to put it in their mouths, Lord God, when the enemy tries to attack them, Lord God. That the first thing that they will blurt is not a word of hurt, Lord God, but a word of power, Lord. That if if God be for me, who on earth can be against me, Lord, that they will learn how to speak a word over themselves, Lord God. I, whom shall I fear? I want them to be able to speak a word over themselves, Lord. I shall not be afraid. I want them to be able to speak a word over themselves, Lord God. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Let them speak a word over themselves, Lord God, and let them bless you, Lord God, at all times, Lord God. When they got a little bit, let them bless you, Lord. And when they have a lot, let them bless you, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.